They call me Velvet Conehead. <laughs> Anyways, I, it's very hard to hear. That's much better. It's very hard to hear what I'm speaking. So, I wanted to talk with you on a wonderful, wonderful topic. And, wonderful China. I believe that you men deal with self-hatred. You have also must admit, gay men, that you have lost innocence. Now, I'm not saying you can't do the Tyler Lord Hamilton jack-off of freedom social policy. <laughs> joke, joke. But I want you all to be out about this facto, and that is men are confused, they're clusterfuck. If you go into the closet or the garages, they need to reorganize things and they need to downsize. People are uh, confiscating themselves from happiness. They're confiscating happiness in their life because they're waiting for something like their dream to happen and it hasn't occurred because they have not learned to look into the mirror and to say I love you so men feel lost and as you all know, they hungrily, with great hunger, they hungrily lick it, and they painfully pick it apart through angry sex. And they're not getting anywhere in their life because of why. Because they hate themselves. So we're going to do something about that, aren't we, gentlemen? We're going to discuss this. Like real adults. First of all, you men in the gay community, if you're new to the gay world, welcome. You're not really missing much. Well, you are. You're missing a lot of corruption and a lot of greed, a lot of money hard-ons, a lot of sizing one another up, sniffing around, seeing what they have, putting them through a gauntlet. <laughs> And as you put people through the gauntlet, you find out if they're worthy enough to join your club. Because maybe you have money, or you have muscles, and you're very so self-grandizement of yourself. That you are the hoo-ha that has a free what? A free invitation. You ask a free invitation for what? A free invitation to not be properly loved. In recluse, you gay men, you are isolationist, separatist, you are afraid, you don't know how to be out in the world and make things happen because your political leaders in powerful positions have not invested purposefully the affirmations that you need to make yourself, as men, properly loved. This is the core of your problem. So that's being stated, you make yourself unbelievably available. But you have this pain in your heart and this godlessness because what? You're degraded and you are humiliated and you are a loser. Let's get straight to the point. What you see is what you get. I shoot straight from the hip. No bullshit. So what we do to create better money habits, this is not what we're looking at. We're looking at how you slaughter your ego, perhaps, and you get people's thinking from out of your thinking, and you don't give a shit what people think about you, and you are absolutely intellectually not compatible with anybody except what? your own terms. You do everything based on your terms because you are losing respect. So the best way that you can think about 
showing the world that you are something special is lifting up those collars, men, and acting like a prick. And that's what you are, because your soul is destitute, and you are in the fermentation period, where well, you must find a way to blaze the glaze. Nothing is simple, because of what? Your heart is everything but being light as air. Gentlemen, I see through you. And I'm here to bring what? Correction. And men are very good at pushing the envelope and playing with fire and acting like Lucifer because Lucifer has a great muscular body and he makes all dreams come true and there's no reason why you should not become a Satan worshipper. Gentlemen, that does not lead you to love. I've been there and I've tried that. And I'm here to promote a global perspective with an all-inclusive Christ, Jesus, Holy Spirit, and Father God. You have this public demonstration of vulgarity, cock, power, and many hard-ons. Fully authoritative in the company of what you think is worthy of your attention, which you seek beauty. Little consideration for strangers that are ruthless, like yourself, no matter the connection you feel with them, because it's all about tossing one another around, the booty calls, the hookups, the open relationships, the friends with the benefits and the swingers. Trepidation. It is a gimmick because of the disgrace and the social suicide of you thinking that you have everything under control when you do not. Correct? Correct. So we are calling to mind right now, gentlemen, this moment in time for you to say that you are disturbed. You have no place to go except this video. So pathetic you are. If you are at this video, it's because you are pathetic because I have established an open heart to love, no matter feeling lost because of men thinking that they are my Alpha and Omega. And I know what it means to be in your situation. And we are all in a family of an Earth blessed by sex. Getting off. You know, you know the drill, instant gratification. And this all is the sociological mathematics of 2 plus 2 equals 4. You have this behavior, it's because you're selfish. And you're going down a road of your own hell, filled with what you think is good intentions, because you have made a vow in this per perplexing, pardon me, I had to put dentures in my mouth, I could barely speak, in this perplexing path of life, because you wander. Right. Let's see what other notes we have. Because we are climbing up a ladder, ladies and gentlemen. All right. A few more things. We'll go ahead and bring closure. Famous for the hard painted china on your cock. Because every lick, every suck that you've gotten on your dick has been able to put some type of fine china painting on your cock like you are fine china. And all you are is worth a disaster in some Hollywood park for the races of designing your own cushion because you get to sleep in the bed that you made 
and you better have yourself a cushion from underneath your head or you're going to have to use your arms for your pillow. Sleeping our way to the top? I think you owe this to yourself, don't you, gentlemen? Inflated ego. Psychological torment and damage. Horrifying truths that can wake men up because they see how sick and homeless and how disgraced they are. This is not about putting down the Hollywood elite or the ugly Jewish women. This is about looking at your own life of being a sexual deviant. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about breaking unions and vows because you're deceitful and you're cheating and you follow your cock. You say you use your head intellectually, you use the head of your cock intelligently. Because where you feel good, that's where your joy is. And it will even be to the expense of breaking the hearts of your children. I'm speaking to straight men. Become aware awake. It's a globalist, erratic world of shopping for sex. But at the end, you feel utter poverty because your empire is devil worshipping. Infidelity, adultery, cheating. You're powerful because of your money hard-ons, or your muscularity, or your drugs, or your home, but you are polarized. And the only celebrity you are is the celebrity for the stars. The black stars. The gender divide and the social dissonance, the sexual politics, gender politics political homosexuality. You all know the drill. You're not going to play stupid with me. So, public leaders, you have not provided in your power positions affirmations to invest in men so men are not going to be making these mistakes because it is 2018 it is about creator spirituality and the loss of manhood think upon it for well, you little Peter Poffoffs you drain your thoughts before and after you drain your cock. You associate your resorts, your retreats, your peaceful times, your soul, and your field life with what? The Cocoa Island of Sucking Dick. And your leaders, gentlemen, need to be held what? Responsible in this public demonstration of vulgarity. I'm sick of it. Sick of it. And you are too. You need to begin your spiritual practice. And stop putting down organized religion and Jesus Christ. Because you do not offer any anecdote, any resolute for something better when it comes to social order and social control and the love of law and those that are working toward being a counselor of law. Stop defying your family, the defilement, the betrayal, the lies. Get out of the closet on this, men. Because you have other men that will stand by your side 
in the Social Alchemy Project Access Management. The learned focus purpose for finding the New World Christchurch, your creativity, your arts that bring you to a pure and hot spectrum when you see the world. By the Tyler Lord Hamilton University College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, the lectures, the e talks, the dialogues, the intervention, the public discourse. Men, I want you to grow up and stop being little boys in the gay community. Become men. And I'm not talking play the role of daddy. So you get young mouth on your cock. Licking up and sniffing all that cocaine from off of your hot dick that's sticking out. Grow up. Because men are angry, they hate themselves because there is no sacred connection in all of the money hard-ons, the prostitution, the twinks with the cum-filled cream twinkie, right? The power bottoms or the tops, the ginger boys, the girly boys, the sissies, the ranch. The kink, the taboo, the forbidden. You know it's time, men, to come from out of this. To see social alchemy. Social change through your voice. And explaining to the world what you know about the kingdom of selfishness. To your political leaders, give proper affirmations. Don't just start handing out free cards through legislature and human rights to have all the sex in the world that you want through bushes, truck stops, bathrooms. This is why the, all the women call you pedophiles. Adult bookstores, adult theaters, adult bathhouses, everything. You say you've raised your level of consciousness. This is your consciousness. This is your idea of raising consciousness. Doing, 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 doing. Lastly, all of this can be corrected if you men start pursuing philosophical research on how you can now educate yourself based on your trash. You will come out of this like the phoenix. You will come out of the dead. And you'll have the resurgence and the birth. You will come from out of the ashes from the volcano lava that now now flowers. Men, a lot of your sex has been in dark, dark, dark places of you hating your own behavior. Change. Starts with what? You. I'm. I am. I am done with the trash. I am done with all you men from out of prison with tattoos all over your body peddling crystal meth to gay men that are in college. I'm done with all your Adam for Adam Masua fantasies of pay for play, getting happy endings and a massage, but it's really prostitution. 
and you get away with this because no one's arrested you. And you think it's the way to be. You've broken so many rules that you don't know how to return back to sanity. Stop killing yourself. Stop being a loser and trash and bring other people down that are younger than you and you're using them for their bodies and you're giving them party favors and drugs stop it stop it you can do better than this you deserve better become enlightened self-realized self-actualized and for God freaking sake educated this is why people call America trash bring forward the proper affirmations of your political leaders you be the leader. Gentlemen, I'm in your corner. I stand by your side. For shock rock. For comedy. For art. You've lost nothing. But only have gained loyalties and devotion and faithfulness and men of their word. Because you are a man of your word. Stop being losers. Stop it. Stop it. Get a life. Grow up. Stop being a little boy. Be a man. You're over age 30. Grow up. Grow 